Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey guys, it's the awesome chat uh, where we talk with some people doing awesome things around Pittsburgh, do, uh, sometimes outside of Pittsburgh. We're definitely keeping it local here and uh, planning to in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you're just catching us for the first time, we have this and so much more over at Awesome cast.net the awesome cast is our weekly show where we talk technology and gadgets from a pittsburgh state of mind and of course the awesome chat where you can find all kinds of uh back interviews with some great people uh, around pittsburgh like i said pittsburgh technology video games all kinds of fun fun stuff uh and uh, please subscribe to us we're on all the audio and video formats everything's linked over there awesomecast.net and please follow us on social media uh twitter facebook and as far as the uh, facebook group so you can become part of the conversation with us as well. Uh, with me, I got a very special guest with me, uh, uh, doing a, something pretty fun here in, in the Pittsburgh area. Harmony Nakama joins me on the line. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so it uh, sounds like it's pretty busy uh, where you're at today. Yes, it's pretty busy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm at a shared um, desk offices, so that's for Ali. I have a bunch of people around. Awesome. Hey, yeah. it's good. I, I'm part of that now, too, up at work hard. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that vibe. <laughs> 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 Which is yeah, definitely hard to find a quiet space in there. So tell me, iBoard, iBoard Interactive is, uh, is your company. Um, yeah. So what are you guys doing over there? So basically what we're trying to do is to have um, to replace the paper pin notice boards and make them digitalized and replace all of them and since now the new era is all digitalized with the new technologies and um, also helps people keep um, being informed of what's going on everywhere without having any limits so anyone has, will, be, will have access to any events posted anywhere in the community or even further wherever they would like to look at. Awesome, awesome. And it looks like you're uh, utilizing a bit of, uh, uh, you know, see, iPhones, uh, things like that. What, what kind of brought you guys to, you know, from having a pin board to, to making a digital version of this? So um, it's because of all the limitation that comes with the simple pin board. So um, from everyone is on the phone now. So um, everyone would likes to have access to everything at a certain point. So no one at this point wants to go work around and look at papers. So um, that's why we tried, that's where we started. So we started as a, a project to see how online and offline information were sh being shared and how we could bring it to the next level. So the next level would be to have this, the same um, concepts of flyers and pin boards but make it better make it more accessible and um, so that anyone will have access to it, it on their phones on their computers and all. excellent excellent so so what what groups are going to benefit from uh, like what what locations it sounds like you're very community community focused in this right absolutely yes so um, so at first, we targeted the universities as they are the ones with the most uh, events and um, their targets for most of the communities. And um, also, like any public places, the coffee shops, that's where you find advertisements and all. So instead of, so those are the main targets. So those are the area um, where the digital board will have um, the best impact. And any community around those digital boards will, of course, benefit for that. Excellent. And, and so these are these are kind of just uh, uh, these are kind of hubs, right? Uh, yes. For for everybody to kind of connect. I, I, you know, th these are days where you know we're dealing with social media, Facebook, everything like that. So is this going to complement that a bit? It does. It complements it a lot, but um, the plus of it is not only to have it online. So um, with the Facebook and all of that, you have all those events, but they are in one place, only on Facebook. So if you want to find it, you have to go at a certain place, certain time, and find it. 
contrary with this one, you have it, the digital, the digital board are posted all over the places. So as I mentioned, a coffee shop. So you go into a coffee shop and uh, you see those events and you're like, oh, okay, I look at interesting. I would like to go to this event. And from there, you don't have to pull up your phone or write it down somewhere. You can just use, go on your phone and you, you have the ex same exact um, event that you saw on the digital board on your phone now. So um, you're not all the time on your phone looking for events. You're just living your life, working around campus uh, in a coffee shop, and you have all those events on a digital board. And you automatically have access to them on your phone also. That's awesome. So, so I've noticed, I've seen these, you know, you, you, you talk about uh, in, in the slide deck that you shared with yeah. me. Uh, kind of the lack of up updating interoperability. I mean, we've seen these TVs. You know, we've seen at least at the coffee shops. I remember there's always there was always one at Sheets, right? And uh, it had like information from the Post Gazette, but it was from two weeks ago. And it was the same thing. Yeah. I, like every, once a month when I go into the, the specific Sheets, right? I, I, I yeah. mean, so this is this is going to have a better stream and a better uh, 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 kind of source of information, right? Absolutely. So um, the. Since it's, it makes it harder because the coffee shop owner, or in, he has to, of course, run the coffee shop, and now he has to right. uh, manage this board again and see, okay, what's old and remove it and all of that. But with this um, application, you don't have to do it. So anyone that posts on the digital board will actually put an end date because, of course, any events will have an end date. Will, will actually happen and then will be old. So after the end date. The, the post is automatically removed from the board. Mm -hmm. So all that the coffee shop owner or the universities or public places administrator will have to do will have to accept the post. And once the post is accepted, the post is there. And whenever the post expires, the post is removed. And that that pushes everyone to have their post because they know that it's not just something boring or something old. Something it's actually something relevant that someone really feel that if I post it there, someone will actually look at it and benefit it from that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're really selling me on this, actually, because I actually maintain a little bit of digital science for, for a, okay. a doctor's office. And, and it's always been like a slideshow that I set up for them. And updating yeah. has just been a big pain for us because because it's go. I got to make the thing. I got to put it over an iPad. And OK, not the full like digital signage kind of thing like like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, but it just seems I, I like the idea that there's this kind of back end going on here for somebody who's just like looking for that idea, you know, a place to connect all that stuff and, and trying to be a little forward thinking. You're, you're really kind of you're, you're really kind of tickling my brain on on how I could maybe apply something like this now. <laughs> so yeah, so, yeah, so I, good. Yes, yeah, so as I said, it's relevant to anyone, like even a doctor office, of course. Um, that would be great, and that's the place because you know that, of course, you has people working around, and everyone can want to post it. And not only the doctor office has content that wants to share in this. Um, in his office, everyone from the outside also would like to have a notice, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like a, a new bus or a new event around the, the right. area of the community. So right. they'll have access to that, yeah. Right, especially one that's a little, uh, you know, community focused, like, like, like we're trying to do. Uh, with one yes. of my clients, I think that'd be a fantastic thing. I'm gonna be pitching you guys <coughs> to somebody. <laughs> uh, but oh, well, how how are you doing? Is this uh, how far along are you in, in growing the company? Are you implementing things? Are you kind of test running this? Like wh where where are you at with this so far? So so far now we are the testing part of it. So we have the application launched mm -hmm. and it's ready to be used. It's completely it's totally functional, but of course um, we're working on making it better and having from what we have now, we're trying to get as much feedbacks as possible so that um, as people are signing up and joining the, the application, they're actually getting something they would like to see. As we, we, we did the testing part, but as now that the, the application is launched, we're still getting feedback and trying to improve future versions and all that. But the application is ready to be um, downloaded on the uh, mobile application and, and the website. The web application is also ready to be used. Excellent, excellent. So, so, so you're ready out there. So, so somebody can get can, if somebody interested can get a hold of you and become part of like maybe the testing phase here. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. And something also I wanted to mention is that as far as now the the digital board and all the signing up part 
is free for us. So if, for example, you want to do that for your um, doctor's office and all, it's free of charge. So they just have to sign up and um, have it ready for anyone to come and post on, the, on their um, digital board. Excellent, excellent. So, so how we, so I mean, you guys gotta make money somewhere. So, what, where, how is the yes. company looking to uh, kind of do that? What, what are you trying to leverage here? So, so far, we have the advertising part from the mobile mm -hmm. um, application. That would be one of the um, the revenues, and also we have this um, revenue models where we charge whoever's posting. So, um, and we're trying to to remove to save the planet and remove all the paper printing because uh, actually people go around to post papers but they usually don't go around to remove them so we have thousands of paper out there where um, they're going to waste so um, we trying to balance that cost so the cost of printing a hundred of papers to post on wells we're balancing that with um, charging the, the person that posts on those digital board a minimal fee Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Uh, so, so what's what's been your biggest kind of challenges uh, so far in building this company? So, um, as it started as a school project, and um, when I graduated, it was a, a team of one. Mm -hmm. So that's the first big challenge where um, I'm looking for partners and I'm looking for um, people to come on board. But so far, it has been hard to get all those people as it was um, at the very early stage of the company creation. So that was the first challenge and now the actual challenge that I have now is to get it out there, to advertise, to send it to everyone to have access to it. Mm -hmm. Now I think uh, you, so we met at, at Startup Weekend, I forget, were you one that, that you presented the first night, right? Yes, I presented the first night, and um, right after that, I heard that it was not you are not supposed to present something you've already worked on. Okay. It was you are only supposed to present an idea. So I had to remove myself from the competition because it would have been unfair. Because but I was I stayed and I was part of another team that developed something different. Yes. Awesome. So, so what do you think? You know, uh, that was uh, my, my first uh, experience being involved in something like that. They brought me on as a mentor for, for Saturday morning. Um, and uh, I met the, the great guys from the, the, the B-Kind Pittsburgh cards. I, I think they've changed their name since. Um, what did you think of the process going through that? Uh, yeah, obviously, you were on another project. Uh, I, I don't know. What, what, what do you think about uh, like an event like this? Well, this is the uh, Pittsburgh Startup Weekend Civic that we both attended here um, yes. uh, in, the, in the recent weeks. Yes, that was very interesting and very informative. I really enjoyed it, and um, I wish I knew about those Pittsburgh week Southern Weekends earlier, as um, it's just a group of people that's very passionate about creating and developing something unique and something, and as this one was about the civic um, community of Pittsburgh, to, to just go ahead and create something selfless and um, something that would benefit for the community. That was a great experience. And to, from, um, it was, uh, it started Friday night to Sunday night to start with a simple idea and try to develop it as much as you can in two days. That was the best part of it. Where you can, like in these two days, have um, a fight, like something tangible that you can actually share and talk about. That was, that was a great experience. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, so uh, what, what kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, made you want to start a company? Um, so it's, it's always been one of my, I'll say, dream to actually have um, something like that and also to actually give opportunities to others. As um, I'm an international, I was an international student and I'm originally from the Congo, mm -hmm. to just have that, um, to open doors for anyone from um, anywhere. To, um, to share that opportunity that I got to study here and to learn from um, the work environment in the United States and to actually create something that will also benefit for others, other students from all over the world. And uh, that was one of my dream, my goals, I would say. And I was able to do that so far, so I'm pretty excited about that. That's awesome. That's awesome. How's, yeah. P how's Pittsburgh treating you for, for being a, a, I don't know, we're, we're kind of feel like we're get kind of this rising yeah. startup town a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, are you seeing that? Is the community really kind of uh, 
uh, uh, helpful or, and cool about that? Yes, actually, I I didn't see Pittsburgh that way until the start of weekend. And uh, from that weekend, I actually saw that they're, they're very much trying and there's a lot of opportunities out there that are pushing um, towards the startup community. And the weekend right after actually start up, there were another event, the Tribal Festival, which was also in that um, type of event, that type of event that pushed um, startups and encouraged all that type of community. And so I would actually, yes, yeah, say that Pittsburgh is pushing that way and helping us to bring it out, to go somewhere with the startups. Awesome. Awesome. So what is, um, uh, you know, so far you, you've been at this for a little bit. Uh, what is the best and the worst thing about running your own startup at, at these days? The best thing is, I would say, you are um, in charge of it. You are independent, I would say, and uh, you can, you can, you have the opportunity to go however way you would like to go. So you have your idea, you have your perspective lineup, and you try to um, go through that. that. I will say that's kind of a freedom where you're not just set in a certain way of working and in a box where it's already planned out on how you have to work, what you have to do, at what time you have to come in, at what time you have to leave. And um, so you, you, not, you don't have to follow certain steps. You have the freedom to try. And that's where the failing part comes, where you, have, you will try and you will, of course, fail some steps. Like you, you'll go through some roads and you have a dead end and then you have to come back and try again. So um, that's the good part of it, but as well, it's the best, the bad part of it. <laughs> Excellent. So if anybody wants to find out about iBoard Interactive, uh, where, can, where can they do that? So the website is iboardinteractive.com where they will have all the information about um, how to contact us, uh, where to contact us, and um, the application is on the App Store and in the Google Play also. It's called iBoard Digital Board, so they can go ahead and um, download the application on those two platforms. Excellent. And they, do they have to, I mean, is it is it functional? Like, do they have to find somebody that's using iBoard first, or can they find places that are using it? How, how does that part work? So, um, actually, they, yes, yeah, so you can download the application, but if you would like to post, you have to find some, um, an institution that's actually registered. And so far, we have a couple of them for the testing part of it. So, um, I will encourage anyone that wants to have the digital board to sign up so that people can go ahead and start posting on those digital boards. Excellent, excellent. Go be a part of a, 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 a new community or your old community yes. in a new way here, right? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> excellent. Thank you so much, Harmony uh, Nakama, for joining us. Uh, check out iBoardInteractive.com, one of the uh, cool new things coming out of uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, okay. Hopefully the new steel startup town USA, right? And. Oh, yes. uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need new we need new t-shirts now right so <laughs> thank you so much for joining us check her out and also check out uh iboard 2015 on twitter and let them know what you think about this as well in this interview uh too please check out everything all the other interviews at awesomecast.net thank you to our awesome guest harmony you have been our awesome audience have an awesome week <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.